Hello everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Towels Crafts and today is release day and I'm going to be showing you guys the pop-up die set and giving you a tutorial on how it's assembled in today's video. So I am going to be using a couple new stamp sets including this 4x6 called Home Furnishings and the Spring Birds 6x8 stamp set. And then here is the pop-up die. As you can see, it is a very large die, so big that it didn't even fit on our largest packaging. So you will be getting two pieces that are going to be paper clipped together. And in my product showcase video, which I posted today, you can see how I break down each piece of the die and you know what everything is. I'm also going to be using the new slimline wood grain background die to go over my birdhouse. So, I went ahead and cut the base panel three times from craft cardstock, and from one of the panels I am adding my frayed burlap Distress Oxide ink. I want this panel to be slightly darker because this is the one I'm going to cut my wood grain from. But I still want it to be pretty subtle, so I didn't go for like a dark brown here. It's just going to be slightly darker than the paper. And now I'm going to take that slimline wood grain die and cut it from the card base panel. If you want, you can also cut the wood grain first and then cut your base panel, which is probably what I should have done here. Um, because as you can see, there's a lot of pieces that punch out of this die. So I had to be careful not to rip them apart. But as you can see, this is a pretty intricate background die and you can leave it together um, by embossing it or you can tape it on the back. But I am going to remove those pieces and add a slightly lighter brown behind so that it kind of pops up and adds a nice little texture to the house. So here is another card base panel that I cut from the craft card stock. I didn't add any ink to that. So it is going to be slightly lighter against this wood grain and create a really pretty tone on tone look. I didn't want this background to be too distracting, but I definitely wanted that texture and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I did add my art glitter glue to the back. You can see that I was a little bit heavy handed with my glue. So I'm going to go through and kind of wipe off the gluey areas and it does leave a little bit of a shine but I plan on pretty much decorating the entire front panel so a lot of it's going to get covered up so definitely be a little bit more careful than I was. I did add that gathered, no not gathered twigs, that frayed burlap to the roof line which is also included in the die set and I'm just going to add that on top and if you're wondering the dimensions of this, it is four by nine once you add the roof line. So it will fit in a number 10 business sized envelope. So included in the die are some birdhouse window cutouts. So I'm going to use the circle here and I already cut my flower frames from the die and I'm using them as a guide to know where to cut out my circles. So here I'm going to add them back on trying to evenly space them apart and that just helps me know where to add my next circle cut out. And those little frames just add some more detail and it's really, really cute. All right, so I'm just gonna cut out the last one. The die set also includes a heart cut out and a stitched heart frame. So you can definitely create a whole bunch of different looking birdhouses. And if you watch my showcase video, I'll have it linked. There's also a giveaway for that video. So I would highly recommend uh, watching it. But I do show you some different variations you can do with the birdhouse. You can even trim them down to six inches or six and a half. I'm not sure what the mini slimline size is, but you can definitely make some shorter houses and create some mini slimline pop-up bird houses. You can also make this into a flat shaped slimline card. So there's a lot of different things you can do, but I am going to be creating a pop-up here. So I wanted the roof line to be slightly darker. So I added my Walnut Stain Distress ink over the roof line. And now I'm going to create the pop-up mechanism. So included in the set is a die that's like a connector piece that connects the two card bases together. It's a very easy 
um, die. Um, you can see that there's score lines, so I went ahead and reinforced all of those score lines. I am now adding my double-sided tape to each tab. And this is going to be an accordion fold, so this pop-up is going to fold downwards as opposed to the side. So let me show you how you want to fold this. You can see that it's an accordion fold, so I folded in the two tabs and then I pushed the center to create that accordion fold. And I'll show that again on the other connector piece, but this is by far the easiest pop-up we've released so far. In fact, I don't even use a bridge. You definitely can, but I decided to just glue my birds to the back panel instead. So here I'm doing that accordion fold where I fold in the tabs and then I pinch the center to create that divot that points inwards. You don't want it to point outwards, otherwise it won't fit in your envelope. So here's my back panel and originally I added a roof to it, but I should have waited until I connected this to the connector piece because once I add it, it just doesn't line up. So I end up taking this roof line off and unfortunately it leaves a really bad glue stain as you can see. So you'll see how I fix that a little bit later on. But here you can see how it folds flat. It's really fun. You get the same amount of dimension and the same interactive element with this. And you can also convert it into a gift box if you want. All right, so now I have my little birds from Spring Birds. I do have a video showcasing the coloring on these. I thought I would leave out the coloring for this tutorial because I really wanted to focus on how to build the birdhouse pop-up. So I thought about adding this tree branch to the bottom, which I think would be cute, but since there was already a hole down there, I decided to not use it. But I do use it on a mini slimline birdhouse in my product showcase video if you want to check that out. So I have some leftover layering daisies. That die set cuts out 11 daisies. So you can create a whole bunch at once and I had a whole bunch left over so I decided to use them on this card. I have a couple assorted leaves that I'm going to add as well just to add a pop of green. And here I'm just laying out all of my birds and the spring bird set includes some robins, a blue jay, a chickadee, and just a variety of spring birds that were illustrated by my grandma. You guys loved her cardinals from the Christmas release and specifically requested some spring birds. And I thought this birdhouse was perfect for them. So I am gluing everything down flat. I'm not popping anything up just because it's already interactive. So this was pretty quick. And Scrappy Tails plans on having add-ons for this house. So the next card I'm going to show you converts this birdhouse into like a neighborhood house. And then for Halloween, we want to do like a haunted house. For Christmas, a Santa's workshop. So I know right now it kind of looks like you can only make a birdhouse with this set. But as we add add-ons, you'll definitely be able to pull this die set out all year round. I added a couple smaller daisies to the center window and I really wanted to add acetate to this but I know that real birdhouses don't have you know glass or anything behind it so I did leave these open and if you add the bridge in you can pop or float the birds inside the windows a little bit closer so that's definitely an option, but I kept it simple and I just glued those birds on the inside directly to the back panel. So included in the die set is the letters H-O-M-E and then a little tweet word die. So I'm going to add home tweet home to the back of this. So I think this would be cute for like a new homeowner or for Mother's Day, really anything. It's kind of a general sentiment and there is room to add a message. I did stack up each letter twice with heavyweight white cardstock and then I added as the third layer my pink cardstock just to raise it up a bit, make it more substantial. And just to decorate it, I added one more bird on top of the H. And then here I'm going to glue this panel over the one that I messed up with that roof line. And then that is going to complete this card design. 
super fun and I'll show you at the end of the video how it fits in the envelope. So here is a close up and here is the back. All right, so now I wanna show you guys the neighborhood house pop-up add-on. So you get three different options for windows. You get a beautiful Dutch door that actually opens so the recipient can fold open the door and see what's inside the house. You get the chimney, um, the attic window, and a couple other dies. You get all the dies you need to cut through the card base so that you can see what's inside the pop-up. And then I'm also gonna be using the slimline brick background for this card. So I'm going to attach a red base panel to a white one. That's because I don't have any heavyweight red cardstock and I definitely wanna make sure that I'm using heavyweight cardstock to create these pop-up cards. So I just did my front panel and then this one will be my back panel. And then my connector pieces, I'm just gonna leave white. I don't wanna layer those because they do have score lines. But I'm gonna go ahead and glue my brick on top. So this time I cut the whole brick panel and I'm just gonna trim the roof line. And because I'm going to be putting that roof piece on top, I didn't worry too much about it being trimmed off perfectly, but if you do wanna make sure that everything lines up, you can take that base die again and cut it from this panel. I did cut it from cream cardstock, so the actual die cuts like the mortar of the bricks. So you would add like red behind or white if you're doing like a white house. All right, so originally I had this black roof and I do like how it looks. When I started editing it, I. I didn't mind it, but at the time I wanted the roof to match that outline at the bottom of the house. So I'm going to change the roof line to cream a little bit later on. But I did die cut all of my window frames from black cardstock, and now I'm going to cut the coordinating solid window panels directly from the card base because again I want you to be able to see what's inside you don't have to do this and in the die add-on I do include a matte layer so if you don't want to have like the interactive element of seeing what's inside you can still decorate this card really cute and add more detail to the windows and there will be some more videos coming because I really want to show you the versatility of this die set because you can really create a whole bunch of different looks with both the birdhouse and the neighborhood house. So I'm going to cut the other window and then also the door. And I want to mention that you want to raise your door a little bit above the bottom of the panel because you obviously don't want to cut the bottom part of your house off and you want to be able to open the door and see what's inside. And if you want to cover that bottom per portion, the birdhouse includes some little bird perches that you can convert to staircases for the neighborhood house. But I just left it. I thought it looked okay. So I'm now going to glue my window frames. And this tall rectangular one is really skinny. So you have to be careful with the glue. And you know I'm going to add acetate behind these windows because it's going to look like glass. And I forgot to mention that I did hand cut the chimney because I was lazy, but there is a chimney die in the set and you can cut that chimney from the cutouts you cut from the panel. So I wanted to draw more attention to this door. So I cut it again from black cardstock and I'm going to glue the outline over my yellow door and then included in the set are a couple small dies to decorate the door so this is very much a fancy door and i love that it's a dutch door i wanted you to be able to really see what's inside the house and i wanted there to be a large cutout so I thought the best solution there would be to create a Dutch door. So I had a lot of fun designing this. And there are teeny tiny little door handles you can add, 
included in the set, so I'm just adding those in. I cut them from black cardstock. And then when you want to attach this but still have the ability to open the doors, you're just going to add your glue to the door frame. And I'll show you that. But first I'm going to add that cream roof. I kind of like that it's like continuous all the way around, but I do think the black still looked really good. I'm going to add a bit of cream to the top of the chimney as well. So I just used a scrap there and I'm cutting around it. And then here I'll glue first my acetate. And then I will trim off the excess. And here you can see I'm just adding my glue to the areas outside of the score line so that you can open the doors, which is so cute. It's an interactive element on top of an interactive card. I think this is very, very cute for a new neighbor or for someone who just purchased a new home. And I also mentioned in my showcase video that everyone on my husband's side of the family is in real estate. So, you know, if you're a real estate agent and you want to give some cards to your clients this is another really great set all right so i'm gonna have the inside of the house be white but if you want to add like wallpaper or a color you definitely can but i wanted the furniture to stand out so i thought white would be best for that i am going to add my connector pieces and then i'll add my back panel And now I can start adding my furniture inside the house. So included in the home furnishing stamp set is a cute little fireplace, a comfy looking chair. I think I'm also going to add a lamp. And then I'm going to move on to the top windows and add a couch. Oh, I guess I added like a faux rug with just a black strip of cardstock to the bottom. Again, you can use a fun pattern paper for that. So on the top windows, I added a couch, a coffee table. This is a grandfather's clock and a little picture frame. And then for the attic window, I'm just going to add another picture frame. And I did color those all with my Prismacolor pencils. And they're very, very small images. I did size them to fit behind the windows. So they're very quick to color. All right, included in the house add-on is a little flower box you can add underneath your windows. So I thought that would be very, very cute. So I cut the leaves from the set and the actual flower box from black cardstock. And you also get some small flowers you can add inside. If you have the spring essentials set, that cuts out like, I don't know, 15 or 20 teeny tiny little flowers. You can use those. And you can even add like a picket fence to the bottom of your house if you want. But because I already glued that down the door, I went ahead and just added grass to the bottom. And I think what else would also be cute is from the Rose Trellis stamp set. There's a cute little sleeping puppy and sleeping kitty you can add to the grass. Off camera, I added a sentiment to the back of the card that says, sending you many years of happiness and love in your new home. And I just stamped that on a heart. Very simple, but I love that you can still add a sentiment to these cards if you want. And here I'm opening the door so you can see what's inside. I just think that's so cute. So let me know what you guys think of the new pop-up die. I know you guys have been wanting some more slimline products and you guys love our pop-up designs. So I love that this combines the two and I think you're going to have a lot of fun creating some different types of birdhouses and neighborhood houses. 
and remember to go and watch that product showcase video because I have not shown all the products on my channel yet. So there you can see the entire new collection and you can also enter into the chance to win a $50 gift card. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.